Our topic for today is square roots. So as you can see here, we've got a few different problems where you have to find the square root of a number or a variable. Now the square root of 16, you probably already know that the answer to that is 4, but here's where it comes from and this is a little idea that you can use to help you figure out other square roots too. 16 is the same as 4 times 4. So think about it like this. The 4 and the 4 here, these are twin brothers and they're inside prison. The prison is the radical sign or the square root sign. So they get an idea that they're going to break out. Except what happens during the breakout is one of them gets out and the other one gets killed. So one of the brothers gets out of there, the other one doesn't make it, so you're only left with one. So the answer is four. So that's kind of goofy, but you can use that anytime you're thinking about square roots. That works also for the square root of a variable. Say for example the square root of x squared. x squared is the same as x times x. So here's your twin brothers, so they try to break out of the prison, and once again, one of them gets out and the other one dies. So the answer to this is x. Now, for a number like 19, 19 is not a perfect square. So you can't break 19 down into the twin brothers. That just won't work. So the only way to do a problem like 19, if you want to get an approximate answer, is you figure that out on a calculator. So that's about 4.36. You have to round it off because the decimals never end. And that's how you can solve simple square roots.